give me a bit of a sense what the operating conditions were like in the last quarter and how that's likely to evolve going forward. Hi, good morning, uh, Yusuf. Uh, well, uh, the uh, performance was, uh, to be frank with you, no surprise, as it is continuation to the trends we have seen throughout the, the year. From a financial point of view, the interest rate environment globally had a significant impact on us, as well as most uh, banks in the region. Since our balance sheet and funding structure is well ge geared uh, for higher interest rate, the rate cuts could created some pressure on margins, and that's a key trend in 2019 that affected our profitability. Uh, otherwise, yeah. we also witnessed some um, increase in the cost as we continue to invest in our future growth as we continue to delivering uh, uh, our digital transformation right. strategy. Uh, so basically, I mean, Shaker, if I can, if I can, if, if I may, if I may just uh, yeah. follow up on the profitability component. Do you expect lower mm -hmm. provisioning then uh, in, in the next few quarters to support that? support profitability? Uh, I believe this is uh, a trend, uh, I mean, lower uh, provision. Uh, assets is, uh, you know, uh, high quality. Uh, basically, uh, Central Bank did a great job over the uh, past years, and uh, all banks are well positioned to, position to uh, I mean, cut uh, provisions to lower levels. So basically, uh, uh, the characteristic of growth and profitability uh, is driven by diversification in MBK, not just to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, cut the, uh, pro uh, the cut in the provision. Uh, to add to that, I mean, growth on both sides. I mean, in Islamic banking, our Islamic bank, uh, Bobian, is doing great, as well as the contribution mm -hmm. of our international network to the bottom line. It contributes by 30% yeah. to the group. So uh, it's not just you know, it's not just uh, lower uh, provision. Of course. Uh, I mean, you talk about Bubian. I mean, given that it's performing well, I mean, isn't it time to raise your stakes in that particular lender? I mean, what's, what's <laughs> holding that process up? Yeah, very interesting point. Would love to have, uh, I mean, uh, the majority of, uh, we, we basically have almost 60%, but uh, this has to be approved by uh, Central Bank of Kuwait uh, and the availability of the float and, and the stake in the market. So, uh, I mean, we hope that we can get higher uh, percentage and, and ownership in, in Bobian. It's uh, really uh, consistent uh, growth. Uh, I mean, it's the bank of the youth. It's the uh, fastest growing bank in Kuwait. The focus on the digital banking, it's a very, very successful story in uh, Bobian Bank. I mean, the valuation of the National Bank of Kuwait, the stock, is at a historical high. Uh, what is going to be the catalyst for the next move higher? What's sort of thematically something you're excited about? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the reason behind uh, the growth in market is basically the uh, MSCI uh, uh, activities. And uh, we believe that uh, soon uh, markets will uh, go through some corrections, but uh, the, the stock uh, price of MBK is driven by its uh, performance mainly. Uh, as you know, MBK is the largest uh, bank in Kuwait. It has a stability in its performance, a stability in yield. I mean, uh, the uh, uh, earning per share is uh, stable, 35 fills for uh, the last uh, maybe five, six years, uh, uh, five uh, fills uh, as a, uh, bonus shares. So it's a combination of a clear strategy of the bank, mm -hmm. strong performance, uh, stable yeah. uh, yield and, and, and return. Uh, but, you know, I would like to uh, mention, um, 
you know, the main highlight of the quarter, the last quarter uh, of 2019. Uh, and it's a crucial conclusion uh, that I uh, take out from it is related to the recent issuance of uh, $750 million, 81 perpetual securities that took place in November. This was a landmark transaction in many ways. Uh, it was the first of its kind from the GCC to be offered in both Regas and 144A formats uh, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. order book that peaked at $2.3 billion, 3.1 over subscription from yeah. more than 160 investors from U.S., from uh, U.K., Asia, Pacific, uh, and uh, Europe and MENA. So, and the coupon, 4.5%. It's the lowest yeah, ever that, that was, out of the region for that was, of a tier course, one capital uh, a major, security. Yeah. 